Are you bored? Not sure what to do? But you just want to keep playing this cat game. Well, sometimes I feel that way too. And you know, there's actually quite a lot you can do in this game other than roleplay. So I'm going to share that today because, because I can, <laughs> because it's my channel. So here we go. First thing you can do if you haven't done this already, which hopefully not because that would make it a little embarrassing on my part. <laughs> you can collect all the herbs in the game. Just make sure you've kind of discovered them all because you can actually get an achievement from that, which gives you a free accessory. I totally did not just find out about this only a few months ago after years of playing this game. No, not at all. <laughs> if you need help on this, I'll be making a tutorial video on how to soon. So hopefully maybe you do because you can check out that video. And even if you've already done the quest, Hopefully you'll be willing to check out that video too, whenever I do make it. Next thing you can do is kind of challenge yourself with morph making. I like to do this a lot, I've done this several times on my channel before, but I like to recreate characters from anything really into morphs. It's a challenge, but it's pretty fun and I like just cosplaying I guess with certain characters. So if you have a favorite character from any franchise, I recommend doing this. It's just so much fun, especially when they're more complicated. You're just totally messing around like, what am I supposed to do with this? And here's some other challenge ideas on the screen that I've kind of thought up of. So, so if you do end up trying this, feel free to tag me in your post because I'd love to see your guys' morphs for these challenges. If you get a group of people, maybe friends, family members, or just server members into an empty clan, you can make a custom clan roleplay. I've seen many people do this before and it looks like so much fun. I have yet to join one. Just roleplay with a custom clan like name, maybe even roles. For example, if I were to roleplay as, let's just say, fish clan, and maybe my clan cats are very good at finding fish in the river. Maybe they even have a different name for their leaders and their deputies. Do they believe in Star Clan? Do they like the Dark Forest? All these different things you could do to create such an interesting roleplay. So what do you do with the nice scenery? Become a photographer. I like going around this game and taking photos of my morphs in different scenery, especially if the scenery matches the morph. I mean, that's it really. Just get some matching scenery, take a photo of your morph, and maybe even edit it. I do like doing that too. You could also be like me and you know, make videos. <laughs> so filming, taking photos, it's just always so much fun for me. One last thing you could do is have the server make a morph for you. So if this sounds confusing, don't worry, I'm going to elaborate on this. You start off with a base morph, just like reset your morph, just reset your cat. Then go around the server asking basic questions like, hey, what should my eye color be? So say for that question, they would say random color, like, let's pretend green. And if they give you a color like green, you would go and set your morph's eyes color to green. And the same thing kind of applies to the rest of the morph. Like you could say, hey, what color should my primary pelt color be? To a different person, of course, not the same person. And let's say they give you orange. So you, you would set your primary pelt color to orange. If this makes sense, you would ask the server questions and then they give you responses and then you make a morph out of the responses that you got. So that's all of my ideas for things you can do when you're bored in Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. Let me know if you would like a part 2 of this because I certainly will be cooking up more ideas. It is always a joy too. So thank you so much for watching, take care, and goodbye! <laughs>